careful. Foxy, he'll go in with the Rolling Thunder, but there are a lot of heroes around right now. They will use him up. The Rod of Atos is ready to go as well, but it's really hard when he's invisible. Tiger, he'll jump in. Arrow will connect as well from Koifa. Straight on Zabana. They will just burst him down, and now Sansa gets taken out as well. Great rotations there from the Alliance side. They do end up protecting that T2 top. In fact, they're going to go for even more. They found PPD on that AA. There's just really no way he survives this one. Fortune's End will be there from Insania, and that'll be a double kill on the Oracle. I mean, there's a really aggressive smoke coming out from Alliance straight off as well. They're going to go for oh, Ace. Ace. He thought he was safe, John. Arrow will connect Koifa. Just finds it. Four heroes get lost there on the side of NIP. Just in the set up. Ace, he'll blink away. So it looks like Boxy knows where he is instead, though they are going to go and chase what looks like Saxa on that Shadow Shaman. They do also find the Radiant Courier to boot, but Saxa going for the TP and will make it out. Quick thinking from him, however, they still have Ace in the Yules, and Boxy will take him out by himself. He did have a double damage, though, which does help the cause. Meanwhile, Fana gets taken down by Mickey in the mid lane, and it looks like it was another shotgun coming out. Yeah, and he also has the Razor form stored up as well, so he will have that static link if he needs it. And his damage will escalate quite high if he does opt to go that way. Saksa gets just bursted, even the Plasma Field coming out, and now the static link onto 33. He's trying to go into defend, but they've just got so much disable, and there's the GG call. PPD, he's had enough, he knows there's no chance in this game any longer. What a showing, though, from Alliance. They're actually going to commit for it, though. No vision on the Roche, Koipa gonna jump in, he's gonna spawn it out, and BKB's up as well. Now they jump in, double hoof stomp is there from the Centaur, though Saxa getting jumped on by Mickey. Looks like he'll lose his life, and now the Eclipse though coming out from Ace on the Luna. It won't do anything to Mickey, however, and Ace almost down. The Ravage is there from 33, and now the Shackles from the high ground. Saxa, he'll save the day for the moment. It looks like they will finally find the kill, but they're gonna lose Boxy in the end. Although, will they? He's making a run, and Koipa, he's in trouble as well. Boxy's oh, still no. jumping around right now he'll go down they'll lose coin for as well and that's a four-man wipe for the gonna walk in for that tier three serpent was being dropped as well they'll take some lunar illusions with the disruption but it doesn't look like it's gonna be enough to force the side of nip back now Rod of Atos straight on Insania, but the Purge comes out and Fana, he's copping a lot of damage already, but they will find the kill, and now the Mega Creeps are online. Hoofstop was there on 33, though he has a Ravage available, and he might just commit it. He gets three heroes with it as well. Mickey, a sitting duck, but they won't go for him yet. In fact, Tiger, he's gone as well. Three down, and Alliance will call it. That'll make it a one-to-one -one in this series. And we will be going to what's to be, John, a very exciting game number three. All right, though, Ethereal Blade comes out from Mickey, but nice fates, Edict from PPD. Mickey, though, gonna move in straight after PPD. Immediately, the False Promise comes out, but the Winter's Curse will hold them down. Barter gonna have to commit the Exorcism, it seems like, because Boxy, he found the call. Oh, They're no. gonna keep chasing onto PPD. That's three heroes down with no buyback on the side of NIP, and this is looking really bad for the side of the Radiant, but really good for the side of Alliance, though. Mickey, waiting a long time for that adapt. That was some strange motion from him. Meanwhile, they found Barter as well on the Death Prophet. They clean him up. There'll be two buybacks coming out from NIP, but that's all they have. And Alliance, they realize how close they are to pulling this off. They go straight for the T4s. How do you defend this? Fana, he'll get started with the Spirit Side, but Aeon Disc will be propped, and there's the Exorcism coming out as well. There, Boxy, he found the call. Here comes Mickey with the damage as well. Fana, he might end up falling. He does use himself up, but he should go down here. Mickey looking for the burrow. He won't even need it, though. He does end up finding Fana. He's on a godlike streak now, and that's GG. NIP, get upset by Alliance good for liquid i feel like the later this game goes it does benefit liquid till the time like monkey king has like Ooh, six slots up. he can multi gets popped though top's actually just running into everybody here a beautiful winter's curse coming down onto enigma but it's actually just not doing enough because miracle's not actually here but there comes the echo to follow up as well it's a lot of damage they happen i'll take out those, those three heroes but miracle just coming in the back lines can't really seem to do enough here anna coming in behind here he's got to be careful miracle's doing a lot of damage and they can't seem to control him up as a buyback from liquid come in martu is dropped though og just seemed to be taking more kills no tail finally going to be the first casualty for og as the top oh, jack's already top oh, Oh, oh the save Thompson. from Ana, and he can TP himself away once again. The disengages from OG proving so valuable in this match. TP back to like defend the racks. So they made OG, they made Liquid fight four versus five. That was like the most beautiful way that OG could have used 
This does yeah, mean the Aegis goes into the hands of Topsy. He actually picks up the refresher shards, and Mind Control just runs in and grabs a cheese. Anna, no uh, Aegis for Not him black. as Topsy's oh, yeah, the one taking you know, all this damage. Look at this coming through onto him. No time on the high ground as well, being controlled up a little bit here. He's actually going to get finished off. Topsy comes back immediately, popping that BKB, just trying to get himself out. He realizes there's no time for him to TP. And in they go with the Sand King. Oh, he does no, have the Anna refresher, and there's a black hole. They've got Anna, but cancelled up immediately by Jarek. There's no BKB from GH to just run out there, and Anna now being beaten down. This is going to be the Rapier back in the hands of Miracle, he reclaims it. Back. And Thompson is well picked off. This might be it for OG. Liquid, they fight into the Aegis and somehow come out victorious. As Seb just trying to push out again and again. They don't have any creeps that they proved before that they just don't need them. Because of that Radiance mischance, but the Sven was hitting him. So yeah. If it wasn't for that, I think he would already be dead right now. Oh, they're going to actually run into this... Yeah, uh, right now. No, no tail. He's immediately getting jumped upon. Martu and Mind Control just getting on top of him. DH and no tail both gone. But yeah, no Enigma as the uh, Tombstone just getting focused up on the high ground. But uh, God Strength and BKB being popped. Miracle wants to find Seb. They're just trying to kind of kite him around right now. Thompson on the run. Stun actually comes out. This is problematic because really nice Thompson fun. is going to get jumped. But in comes really the Echo nice Slam. Cool. Onto three. Seb with the jump in as they will fight this one up. They're not dead just yet. They don't quite have the follow up damages. The stun comes down onto Jarex. He's going to get finished off. Seb being chased down by Martu as well, all out of mana and running out of health as well. Despite the echo, it wasn't enough to turn this fight for OG as somehow it comes swinging back in Liquid's favor and Anna go for the TP just about makes it up. Two stuns on the way into base. But Anna game as they get the stun onto two. There's a great initiation but the BKB from the spent immediate turnaround. The Wukongs comes down there just trying to bring down Kuroki as quickly as possible, get rid of that save. As Kind Control can't do anything. And they're on the back lines looking for some kind of entry here with the black hole. He's hanging around but the BKB's actually run out. Now Thompson's on top of him here. They want to force this out from him. The Refresher Shard comes in from Thompson here as he's got another BKB charge to go and we'll be able to just hit down GH. Miracle dead. No buyback as they go on to Kuroki as well. They're just gonna burn him down. He might be invisible but it does not make you immortal. The Fates promise it's gonna take him a little bit of time to kill him. Just piling in the damage. Why not? It's like a pinata, but Anna, he's got the eyes on the prize. A tier four is being beaten down here. Liquid looks like they might be falling here as they try to go for the counter initiation onto the back lines here. But two heroes stand up together inside that second Wukong's command. Mind control, he's the last surviving member of Liquid, the last hope, but it's not realistic as they will be brought down. And the GG is called. Game number two goes to OG. You, sir, to be honest, like, Aegis, they gotta, they gotta get everybody else first, surely. Unless you're just right, like, straight over to the high opposition. ground, yeah. They all positioned around mid, so he just ran into the bottom where OG... Uh, no tail coming in from the back lines and Jarex as well. Seb also coming in, but oh, Echo comes out. Not doing that much work though, as, uh, well, I was gonna let set. himself get frozen up. GH oh, is dead, no tail's dead as well. Seb's still trying to play it around here as well. He's just kind of running away on the back lines. Anna still just tanking up on the front here, but he's out of mana. He needs to get himself away. Jarek's trying to time the Fisher nicely here as the Thunder comes out onto the Leshrac. Miracle though pops the Bloodstone, keeping himself alive, giving himself plenty of health. And Anna will go down to the split earth. Meanwhile, Seb tries to come in with an Echo um, in the back lines here, but it's not really doing anything. They just feel yeah. powerless on the side of OG. And uh, it's looking like a Liquid are going to be up onto the high ground right now. This comes in, nearly dies for placing down the sprout. There's the stone gaze being used. Anna with the reflection there, just trying to bring Matu down a little bit lower, but Seb, he's got to be careful. Nice yields there to stop the snake connecting. They could actually go for a kill onto Matu here. She doesn't have anything. As Jarex comes in with the Echo Slam, is it enough to bring down Medusa that they need to get the kill onto Matu? If they do that, they would stand a chance. There's by Anna just piling on the damage, finally brings him down, but Miracle with the BKB running onto the front lines. Terrified needs a Sunder, will not find it, has no buyback. So it's going to be a really tricky here from here on out. As uh, well, Topson, he's turning himself in a bit of trouble as Miracle runs him down. He's got the magical damage. Down goes Thompson and the GG is called. OG lose this best of three. Liquid will make it through to the upper bracket finals. With Liquid's team fighting, like they're not expecting that the Tiny's uh, avalanche toss is like already up. So their positioning is like not... Miracle yet. into the pit though, he's going for the steal, he gets the Aegis! He actually gets it off them, Alliance robbed of their reward! And Miracle brings down the Medusa as well! What are you doing? They take down the Medusa, they grab the Aegis, they're looking wow. for Nikkei as well, here he's under a sentry, he gets pushed away. Tiger with a bow strike, buying his hero a little bit of time here, but that steal was absolutely phenomenal, but Boxy comes in, might have taken that Aegis, he certainly does, and gets Matu as well! Kuro, we're on the runaway here, trying to get his way up into high ground, gets away with that, that's Miracle. 
critical. Now, oh, he's caught. No, he actually gets the strength morph off just in time. Now they use the last oh, surge to control out the Weaver. Nothing more. They might try and actually get the kill. Miracle's sticking around here. He still wants to fight up, and they actually get the kill onto Mickey for it. And now Boxy, he's not looking particularly good either. The bow strike through onto Miracle. Strength morph once again. And Sonia also playing around with him right now as uh, Mind Control is actually the one dropping kind of low. Alliance trying to clear themselves out here. Blink daggers at dawn as they run themselves back. And hey, here uh, comes comes in immediately getting lassoed oh up where the black hole it doesn't land on anybody oh no that is not right but he's got the refresher roll we'll be able to throw it down onto the medusa tiger just outside of it as well medusa surviving barely throughout that and then the weaver comes in to bring him back to life but koifa they're losing teammates and signing is down but gh and matu dropping just as quickly and look at koifa's damage tearing through everybody and liquid are completely devastated they're gonna lose rishan and they'll probably lose the game as well nobody is here for the steals miracle just trying to make his way around this fight, but gets caught out by Boxy because he had the damage to finish him off. He doesn't, but he's cancelled the TP. Miracle, at least he's got that Weaver form. Meanwhile, word on Insania. Oops, Storm jumping in. Quickfa, he's ready to roll, but uh, GH is going to come in and turn him into a chicken, and now the shackles come down, but a black hole oh, onto four heroes! That is very, very nice! This is, Mickey comes following up, the damage onto the juice, is it going to be enough though? He actually turns Mickey to turn, but no! The glaive comes flying in from the bounty hunter to finish the job, and now the hex out onto Troll. Looks like Alliance might still be in some trouble. Troll, not out of the woods yet. He's actually killed, and Tiger trying to juke himself around here. Not quite happening though. Then comes bounty hunter coming in from behind, seeing what he can find as a shuriken comes bouncing around onto three heroes, but the hex comes out onto him, and Zania doing his best to try and help out his teammate, but in come the damage from GH, and Boxy's gonna get finished off, and Zania just gallops his way behind the tower, but still being chased, Miracle, he's got the chains, mind control here as well, they're gonna make it a full five-man wipe, despite the four-man dream black hole Vortex, as Mickey just starts to get these further stacks up onto Matu meanwhile, they've actually got Bounty Hunter locked down, the Ignis gonna buy him a little bit of space, as the ultimate be but he gets stone gazed up, the stone gazed up on Medusa means that Mickey can't really do much and uh, he's still chasing here, Mickey. Not gonna find much for his efforts, and maybe could be in some trouble now as BKB wears out. He's got an Aegis, but uh, they need to try and find a way to fight this one. Meanwhile, Tiger still holding off on that black hole for the time being. Blink gets cancelled by the Maelstrom, but it looks like Troll Warlord will be losing his first life here, but in they go with the black hole. Three heroes once again, but Hex down does cancel it out, but is it too late? Down comes a Golem, so still Bye trying back. to fight it up. Mickey looking for a target, but he's actually just backing away, it looks like. Miracle comes in, they realize this fight is lost. Tiger and Quakefa both falling, and Troll manages to sneak away and TP out. Gonna be pretty quick. The charge is restoring, and the double damage rune. But uh, Lions are actually going in on this. They're looking at Kuro here. Kuro, he's got silence up. He's got the Agnes, but he might not even get a chance to use his ultimate. Can they bring him down in time? Oh, they need to just finish him off before he can get him off. Yes, they will be able to do so. But meanwhile, Mickey controlled up. He has got the Aegis, which he'll be able to use now as Boxy running forwards. GH, well, they're just looking for the back lines, but Miracle with the double damage and just tearing its heroes in the back hole after about two seconds before Tiger dies. Liquid find themselves three. And they're looking for more as well. Mind Control will not be able to grab anyone. another one, though. No, but That's costly. I mean, that was like a 0.2 second black hole because the last hit from the Dusa before the black hole hit was a crit and it landed on the oh. Enigma after he got the black hole off. He actually just died. Yeah, now it's gonna be a really big uphill battle here for Alliance. 4 versus 5. No Enigma available. Yeah, the one kind of saving grace that they had in these team fights. Mickey actually could just control up on the front lines. I'm fairly sure he doesn't have, have buyback. He doesn't have buyback. He doesn't have ultimate either. He's just got to stay away. The golem's still chasing. Meanwhile, Storm playing around a little bit here. He needs to get off. He's got no mana. He's got no life for 120 seconds. I'm fairly sure that this game is over right now. Troll trying to come in. Troll trying to do something. But the golems, the heroes, it's all just coming down on the ancient right now. And they will get it blown. Liquid, Boxy, Mickey, they split up from the rest of their team, Mickey's gonna run into everybody, stun comes down onto him, 5 strike as well, but the Lone Sword gonna wake him back up, but can he get off any spells, he does manage to get the ultimate off just about in time, on such low HP, Tiger coming in, just gonna break up those trees, Mickey chasing forwards and not letting in life steal, and now he can turn around, but Mickey's actually doing a ton of work, on to Miracle here, Mickey and Miracle fighting it up, he's just gonna try and TP himself back, and that is gonna be successful for him. It's actually only the Jakira that dies. Oh, hold on. Brew could be in some trouble. Then come the trees, forcing Brew the long way around. Boxy, well, the load's still going to reflect a bunch of spells, but they're still pounding into the Brewmaster up here. He's going to make it to his high ground, but not any further than that as he's bought down. Does buy GH. back. Meanwhile, GH, he's stuck on the high ground right now. The X mark's keeping him in place. There's Kunker. His own trees blocking him off. The hey, GH, there's no escape onto the low ground for him. The tower's probably going to do the job. Although in comes Miracle with the God Strength. Takes down Tiger. Now looking onto Mickey as well. Mickey, though, he can 
fight up. He's still oh, going Miracle. for Miracle here. Miracle's in some trouble. The Spirit Vessel on him. The X marks going. as well. Dragged back with the taunt. They get him down as well. And Chen's going to be another one. The stun comes down onto two of them. It's not really enough to hold them back as Chen's in the air forever. Quake for he's uh, taking a bit of damage. as Martu coming back in. Mind control as well. Miracle buys back. They want to take this fight. Conker, he's dropping low and he is dead. Does have buyback on Conker as well. It's 20 seconds until the Enigma comes back. Meanwhile, Boxy in the middle of everybody doesn't have split, doesn't have anything as he's just going to get destroyed. And there's, uh, well, he's gone for a hit now. Meanwhile, they need to make sure Mind Control doesn't go for anything in the back lines. They're still trying to fight up in here. Meanwhile, Tiger being chased away. He's actually just dying to the Mega Creeps. He needs to get back to base. And Sanya as well. So low. A miracle comes in. Finds one. They're going to have to just black hole him, but he's not falling into the fountain. But Mickey going to town. Miracle chopped down. He's got a buyback. There is a Chen alive as well. They can bring him back into this fight. Oh, he and that certainly no will black hole do. available anymore. Oh, yeah, and now the ultimate gets thrown onto Kunker here. He Kunker being dropped. Tiger, he's got a chance to do this right now, but GH, the throne, it's going down the throne, they need to do something and they need to do it now, but it's a nice black hole onto two heroes, but the rest of Liquid just deal with the throne. The god strength, Sven, takes down the Ancient, Team Liquid will be victorious. It doesn't really end in a big fight, it doesn't...